for those who don't know, Chris Bryant MP uh, is the patron of Melanoma Focus and he's been uh, admirably open about his diagnosis previously of melanoma. And today we've got Chris with me to talk about his journey uh, and particularly how he came to be diagnosed with melanoma and the treatment he's had to try and illustrate some of the aspects of melanoma prevention and diagnosis, which we feel as a charity melanoma focused, we can, we can help people with. Chris, can I take you back almost before you were diagnosed with melanoma um, as to whether growing up you had any sense of perhaps some of the dangers that sun exposure could um, lead to or any, had, had there been any education in your life around sun safety? Was it something that you were ever aware of? Well, it was probably the opposite of education in a sense. I, I, my parents, although my dad is Welsh and my mum was Scottish, uh, they met in Spain where dad was working during the summer um, in a hotel. And um, so when I was seven, we went to live in Spain um, for five years and mum used to cover herself in olive oil to go out in the sun. I have the kind of skin that is designed for rain, not, not for sun. Um, and I'm sure I got sunburned quite often when I was a kid. Certainly the, the message that Melanoma Focus is trying to um, make people aware of or help make people aware of is around sun safety, sun protection. And, and, people they're taking. and I think there are just sensible things you can do, like st sticking out of the midday sun, um, notwithstanding Noel Coward. Um, and you can, uh, and by midday, I kind of mean from like 10 o'clock in the morning till three o'clock in the afternoon, especially if you're in other climbs, you have to bear in mind that um, even though the sun may not feel very intense because there's a breeze or a wind, it might, might nonetheless be burning you. Use, you know, high factor. Um, uh, lotion bottles now have very clear indications. Probably a good idea to buy new every year rather than keep on using the bottle that you bought five years ago, um, which you haven't quite finished yet. For me, I think in particular, one of the things, places I used to burn was at the top of my ears, my nose. I remember once a whole nose skin peel came off in one with a freckle attached, I think. Um, and, uh, and, 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 you know, covering your scalp, your head. Um, it's not, I, I still have a decent amount of hair, but nonetheless, um, it burns very easily in there. 